Hi everyone, I'm here to introduce our work GraphLeak, Patient Record Leakage Through Gradients with Knowledge Graph. This is a joint work by Institute of Automation, Chinese Academy of Sciences, National University of Singapore, and Tencent Jarvis Lab. Recent studies have raised concerns about the privacy risks associated with gradient exchange. It has been shown that malicious attackers can exploit the shared gradients to potentially compromise privacy. As shown in the figure, attackers may conceal themselves within central server or other participants in order to obtain gradients from the targeted users. Upon success, the thief of these gradients can enable the attackers to exploit a specific gradient attack algorithm and gain unauthorized access to the user's private data. However, the practical application of traditional gradient attack algorithms is very limited. The main reason for this is that as the size of training data batch increases, there is a significant increase in the difficulty of reconstructing the input data from the mixed gradients. In light of the challenge, we find that in medical domain, there are a large amount of prior knowledge. These prior knowledge is usually represented in the form of knowledge graph. By incorporating this prior knowledge into gradient leakage algorithms, it could increase the chance of recovering patients' data. The graph leak algorithm consists of three steps. In the first step, similar to the conventional approach of deep learning training, electronic health records training data is transformed into multi-hot vectors, which are then fed into the model for training to get the training gradients. Second step, involves setting randomly initialized dummy data and the dummy labels of the same size as the true data and true labels. Using the training gradients obtained in the first step as gradient labels, we compute the error loss between the current gradient and the gradient labels. Finally, in the third step, regularization loss is calculated using a knowledge graph constructed from the co-occurrence relationships in the EHR data obtained in advance. The error loss from the second step and the regularization loss from the third step together form the final loss function, which is then used for gradient optimization of the dummy data and dummy labels. Furthermore, we give a theoretical interpretation of the optimization objective for the graph loss under a well-defined setting of a cooperative gain through the Benjeff interaction index. The graph leakage algorithm can be interpreted from the perspective of the cooperative gain theory. The in equation we derived in equation 11 establishes the relations between Benjeff loss and the proposed graph loss. Optimizing the graph loss could upper bound the Benjeff loss. Therefore, the game theoretic analysis results are identical to our method in the algorithm 1. We conduct comprehensive experiments to assess the effectiveness of the graph leak. We conduct evaluations of gradient attack algorithms on two publicly available EHR datasets. EICU and mimicry. In order to assess the effects of graph leak, we compare its performance with several baseline methods. Top K means the top K items with the highest frequency as a restore result. This method is regarded as the most basic baseline. We also replicate some traditional gradient attack algorithms like DLG, TAG, and IDLG. What's more, we implement all the gradient attack algorithms on both a three-layer MLP and a standard transformer. Here we show the attack success rate against MLP and transformer with different batch sizes to recover the patient diagnosis, treatment procedure, and medication of the MIMIC3 dataset. For both MLP and transformer, it is evident that with the batch size increasing, the success rate of baseline algorithms start to significantly decline even approaching random guessing. In contrast, our graph leak consistently maintains a high restoration success rate. And here we show the attack success rate against MLP and transformer on the EICU and MIMIC3 dataset with knowledge graphs built with different amounts of data. The length of the box plot represents the fluctuation range of the success rate with changes in batch size. It can be observed clearly that the data scale decreases from 100% to 5%, yet the change in restoration success rate is minimal. This demonstrates that graph leak only requires a tiny fraction of data to construct a knowledge graph, which significantly boosts the success rate 
of gradient attacks and greatly reduces the algorithm's application threshold. For more detailed experimental results, please refer to our paper. To conclude, our work proposed a novel method utilizing prior knowledge from a co-occurrence matrix to enhance the data restoration effect of the gradient attack. GraphLeak achieves remarkable results employing knowledge graph as medical prior knowledge under a popular distributed training setting. This approach largely enhances the restoration results for discrete data. Thank you for your attention to our work, and we hope this work will be helpful to the community.